I'm making another bowl. Yes, that's right. Spurred on by my last bowl, I'm making another one. Uh, you just saw me knocking up the central spine. Um, I'm going to use the bucket again because that turned out really well last time. Going to use some really nice bits of walnut that uh, I, I, I chopped up recently. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to put them around the outside like so. You see that? Um, I'll show you in the bucket what I mean. So the central spine that I just made up will go in the middle obviously. And these will go around the outside like so. And hopefully I'll fill up, well I will fill up the holes left with uh, resin. I think I'm gonna go for blue this time because I think that the blue complements the walnut really, really well. Same procedure as last time. Gonna be uh, making these fit in there nicely, gluing them to this bit, resining them around the outside so we don't have any bubble issues. And then uh, get on with the pour. in now and the uh, sealing resin has gone to approximately the B stage so we're ready to mix up the main pour for it so I'm thinking I might put some pink in there as well because the last one I made it although it did have some pink in it wasn't you couldn't see it very well and I do like pink um, so blue and pink I think it is shall I do it oh, I don't know shall I shall I I, I, I don't know I'll mix some resin up and have a thing. It's got loads of micro bubbles in it from the mixing, so we're going to get rid of them now. So we're going to put it in the vacuum chamber. Just while that's uh, doing its thing, I want to do um, the two pores. I've decided to put some pink in it, so I'm going to do the blue and pink at the same time. Need another bucket for that, so off I go. So we're using Vuba Vista Ocean, one of my favourite resins for this one. You can pour up to 100 mil, so that's exactly what we're going to do. The um, old container's coming very handy. Cut one up, and we can use that to do two pours for another one. So we used before, and we can use that to do two pours. Now the idea is to have the blue and the pink, on, the blue on one side and the pink on the other. And they're going to mix a little bit but not too much so we're just going to pour them in and leave it and what happens happens so this just goes to show how many bubbles are actually in there let me just stop that for a minute that's got 750 grams in there because i split i did 1.5 kilograms in the whole pour and i split it into two that's got 750 grams in there and that bubbled up nearly over to the top of the 10 liter bucket just goes to show how much air you introduce when you actually do mix so uh, a vacuum chamber or a um, pressure pot is quite essential for getting micro bubbles out. <laughs> Doing a bit of ghost hunting in the garage. If there's anybody there, make a sound. Hmm, yep. It's all gone wrong. You would have thought I'd learn, wouldn't you? This wasn't stuck down properly. So it looked great when I poured it, and it's all risen. 
fail. Well, we'll get it out. And we'll see if we can do something with it. I'm quite disappointed with myself on that one, to be fair. I really should know better. So I didn't record getting it to this point because I didn't know what was going to happen with it and I was still deciding whether or not I was going to continue with the video. Um, I think I will. I've managed to get it uh, to a point where it's reasonably balanced. I've taken, chopped off the whole of that side and because the wood's pushed up it's left, it's created lots and lots of air bubbles um, which are these bits here that is more chip out I should imagine but uh, see the woods all over the place in there but I don't know I'm hoping that as we get further in it's gonna be there's gonna be less air bubbles and I can mitigate the chip out as much as I can with the tools so we're going to carry on and we're going to make something out of it. carry on with this I've gone I've gone, gone to a point where I quite like the shape I've just used it as practice really we can see on the inside here I've had to fill a multitude of holes um, that's due to the uh, bubbles because of the wood moving um, the wood has moved and given us some funky patterns but it's not what I wanted at all um, so I'm going to carry on sanding, use it as sanding and polishing practice as well and then just see what we end up with but this is not what I wanted um, but I'll chuck the video out anyway um, fails and all you know <laughs> so, so I've done a ceiling, uh, uh, sanding sorry and ceiling and polishing sort of process just to see what it would shine up like and the bits that are right where are we come up really nicely really like the blue really like the contrast with the walnut and the blue and the mixing of the colors but it is nowhere near what I wanted so no end pictures this time and I shall give myself a big slap around the face and try again and do it properly next time. On to the next. 